Be awake and don't let that happen to the rest of the country. When you see a situation like this where the government has been poisoning its people and just uh, overlooking and, and, and trying to counter any um, opposition that might come out saying, hey, you know, there's lead in the water and trying to silence those voices that are coming out trying to expose this. When you see stuff like that, it's time to A, shut it down or abandon ship. We're standing here in Flint, Michigan, right here in front of the Flint River. This is the notorious river uh, where the people here in Flint, Michigan, were having their water temporarily rerouted from, notorious for its filth. You can see the lovely greenish hue of this water. Uh, residents have reported that they've found dead bodies floating in this river before, as well as GM and other companies, like Dow Chemical, they would dump a lot of their waste into this river at one time. So residents were just shocked to learn that this was where they were going to be getting their water supply from. And of course, we know uh, there was a lot of issues with how that water was being treated or wasn't treated simply because they were cash strapped. So they didn't go follow the proper EPA protocol call to ensure that that water, toxic wastewater, was safe to drink. And now a few days ago we found out that there was an outbreak of Legionnaire's disease that was happening for about 18 months. 10 people died and now we can see from emails uh, received through FOIA request that the, as early as about 2014, officials were concerned that there was a potential tie between the switching over of the water from the Detroit water supply to the Flint River, that there was a Legionella being found in this water and that that was potentially what was causing this outbreak that it led to 10 deaths. But again, the public was never told about it, just like they were never told about the lead. They were never warned about the trihalomethanes that were potentially coming out of this water because it wasn't treated properly, uh, which of course, if you're taking a nice hot shower, that's the number one way to absorb these toxins uh, through the steam, which is going to cause kidney, liver damage. Um, so again, just a massive cover up, massive neglect here. So we're going to go around, do some more reports, find out how the students here at the University of Michigan here at Flint, which is right next to the Flint River, find out how they feel knowing that they're paying a tuition to a school where they're being sort of forced to potentially be exposed to poisonous lead. You guys have the exclusive for, which is a product called Deep Cleanse. And why I'm so excited about it is it's a unique formula, almost like the iodine crystals. We have two unique products that nobody in the world has. One of the most amazing ingredients in the world and it's called shilajit and it's actually known as blood of the mountain or rock sweat because thousands of years ago as a matter of fact this ingredient was only given to the elite of the elite thousands of years ago up in the himalayan mountains and in tibet and we wanted to put this in, in the stuff for, for a couple of years but we couldn't get an organic form right i mean so I, let's explain i mean we, this stuff's so good we couldn't put it out for years. Right. So I had to actually, it's kind of like the iodine crystals, finding a source deep in the earth that we could get the cleanest source available. But in Tibet and in Nepal and in the Himalayan mountains, thousands of years ago, they found, they watched these monkeys. And during the summer months, the monkeys would go up into the mountains. Now you're being racist against monkeys. And they would pick this black substance from the mountains. And so uh, in Russia, they actually, it, it grows in Russia in the mountains and in the Himalayas and only in the summer. And Chilajit is actually the decomposition of seven, up to 7,000 different medicinal herbs. So it decomposes, all these different herbs decompose in the Himalayan mountains and the volcanic soil up there. And what happens in the summertime- So it's almost like an oil up, from- Yes, it's high in fulvic acid, it's high in humic acid. Because they're, they're always claiming down. oil is really from decomposed animals and plants. There is some oil that is based from fossils, but most of it's really abiotic. But So, so this is a true fossil uh, source? I mean, explain it to me. It is, uh, it's really the decomposition, like I said, of over 7,000 different medicinal herbs and plants. And, it, and with the rocks and the pressure deep in the mountains, it freezes and... And during the summertime, and the pressures build it up, it oozes out. It oozes out. So it literally oozes out of the mountain. It's like rock sap. It's like rock sap. It's black, and it's highly nutritious. Uh, even in the 1980s, when the Olympic athletes in Russia were accused of being on steroids, they found out that they were actually been given shalajit because it it works as an anabolic as well. 
and it builds muscles. It's a big dose in there. The second big main ingredient in there is a volcanic zeolite concentrate. And this, what this formula is designed to do, the shilajit and the zeolites have a real strong negative charge. All the metals and chemicals and PCBs and VOCs have positive charges. So these go in, they grab it, and then they safely eliminate it through the body so you can become healthy. I mean, the, this is an amazing formula. I wish I actually had it, but because this was an exclusive InfoWars Life product, you're the only one in the world that has this formula now. And, uh, you know, there is going to be a limited supply available when you sell out because you can only harvest this once a year. How do people take it? How is it recommended that this be done? Just a daily, daily dose? Yeah, daily dose. Uh, the instructions are on the label. You know, of course, I, I kind of modify it for each individual. It depends on what your lifestyle is. I mean, the, honestly, the best thing to do is for you to avoid all these chemicals and toxins in your environment and try to identify them and start slowly reducing them. But personally, I, I'm going to probably take it every day, every other day, and I'll probably go with about a dropper full to maybe two dropper fulls. Uh, and I and I, li I don't expose myself to any chemicals. InfoWarsLife.com. Please also support our local AM and FM affiliates, support their local sponsors, or become a sponsor and spread the word. Because these aren't just great products. This is how we fund this independent operation. We're not taxpayer funded like MSNBC or NPR, and neither is your local station. So support them, folks. This is a war. <laughs>
And folks, this is another limited edition shirt. The Hillary for President shirts are starting to sell out. We're not making more. I wish I wouldn't have made that a limited edition, but whatever, you make them a limited edition, people seem to like that. They order more of them. That helps fund the operation, gets more great shirts out there on the street. Uh, folks, we, the people, will never surrender with the M4, with the main gun they want to ban first. And then on the back, come and take it on the right arm, Infowars.com, where you can then point to your arm and tell folks where to go to learn more truth. Uh, it's 1995. This shirt is high quality, and it funds the operation. We need to sell a lot of these, be able to send reporters. I mean, I would have sent reporters to Davos, the public Bilderberg meeting that's going on right now, but we don't have the funds. Uh, I've sent folks to Bilderberg. I've sent folks to cover other events, you know, the attacks in, uh, uh, in Paris. Uh, I mean, it comes down to the fact that we need a budget. We need to sell a lot of T-shirts, a lot of water filters, a lot of nutraceuticals, you know, to have this great group of reporters and crew and investigative journalists and editors and legal and, you know, the bandwidth costs and all of it. We're victims of our own success. I don't want to have to get rid of the free video feed to the daytime radio show that's four hours long. But when 15 to 16 million people watch it a month, it's tripled. And, and again, that's just one feed we put out. I started promoting it, and it's just – it's. In fact, I want to do an ad on this, call for folks to support us, because we can show the metric of the bandwidth. I can show the bills. I mean, $56,000. And I mean, we got the, some of the cheapest bandwidth out there. Uh, so, I mean, believe me, we've shopped around, and it's good bandwidth. Uh, and it's just a victim of our own success when we have this many viewers. Again, in a month, just on, what, 16 million times people connected and then watched. I think an average was about 30 minutes. But the point is, that's a lot of people. I mean, that's one small part of our audience, but it's growing. It shows the exponential growth, but it costs so much money. So InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com. Uh, what's your view on the shirt? I personally think it's awesome. Uh, the graphics crew came up with it because I was saying we'll never surrender our guns on air. We've got to make a declaration of this. I kind of wanted one with, like, the Alamo and that statement. They said, no, this is better. I agree. Uh, what's your view on the shirt, Jakari? Well, it's just another in the series that we have. You know, it's a great shirt. It's a high-quality shirt, you know, very comfortable, and it helps you to meet like-minded people. You know, you can go back through the, uh, the, through the archives. You can see the other Come and Take It shirts we have, but, you know, this is the new one. It's a great one, and you can see uh, by the success of the Hillary shirt, you know, how much publicity we've gotten off that, how many like-minded people have come together. You know, they're wearing it at political rallies. You know, it's Trump's like, talking about it. Yeah, I mean, it's a very popular shirt, and this can be that as well if people get out there and make this an issue and just wear it, and, you know, it's a great shirt. The Hillary shirt we came out with four months before the end of the year, and then literally about in early December, a huge shipment came in, made right here in America, you know, printed here in America. Most shirts are made in America. We have cheaper ones that aren't people choose. But the point is that that it, it's super popular, uh, and other people, I'm sure, are making them. They are now, and then that's fine. We're done when these are sold out. They're available at InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, or call 888-253-3139. But this shirt, again, I'm not going to do this for four months. This is a shirt, limited edition, that will go for 2016, and then that's it. It's gone. So you've got uh, basically 11 months and 10 days to get this shirt, and then it's gone forever. we got a lot of shirts that are not... Uh, you know, the Obama Joker one was a limited edition. Man, I wish I wouldn't have got rid of that one. That was the all-time best-selling shirt ever and financed a bunch of stuff. In fact, I was able to hire uh, three or four reporters. You were part of that wave, Jakari, off the money that shirt made. That was our all-time best. But, oh, really? Uh, oh, absolutely. But, uh, you know, that's it, folks. Infowarsstore.com. Uh, we're going to go to this Faircon piece in a minute. Stay with me, Jakari. Uh, but let's go briefly to Weldon Henson in there in the control room. Uh, Weldon, I just said, hey, throw one of these shirts on, you know, drag you in here. Give us your view uh, on the new shirt, Weldon, because you're back there running the, the warehouse. Well, well, obviously, this is uh, one that we had made kind of in response to the fact that every time we turn around, the Second Amendment is getting attacked. Obviously, Obama is on the war path to destroy the Second Amendment with his executive um, actions. So this is kind of a response. This shirt is a, is a way for InfoWars to respond to that, and it helps fund the operation. And of course, we just got these in. I had to put one on uh, instantly. I know you told me to, but I already had one in my office ready to go, so it's uh, good to get over here and talk about it. Everyone needs to pick one up. It's a great conversation starter. Like Jakari said, you know, you meet like-minded people. Get one of these, wear it to the gun range, wear it out to dinner. You know, let's get people thinking about these this. politically correct people want to end speech. They want to bully us and throw it in our face. This is almost like doing an open carry, but a lot safer. Open carry is the cutting edge of civil rights, people exercising it to show people that guns haven't been banned. It's breaking that perception. We're beginning to win 
but but this is the next best thing to that, I think. Absolutely, Absolutely because uh, they demonize open carriers here in Texas, but it's the uh, the actions of the open carriers, guys like C.J. Grisham and Cargill and all these other guys here in Texas who actually made open carry a 